Hi, my name is Brad Spearing. I'm the president and one of the co-founders of Turnian Corporation, and I'm also the Flames product manager. In this video, I'm going to give you a very brief demonstration of how to create a flame scenario. I already have opened on my computer an application called Forge. Forge is the primary application in Flames used to create and execute flame scenarios. I'm going to right click on my screen and select new unit. Players in Flames are called units. I'm going to scroll through the list of defined unit types and pick a truck. I'm going to give the truck a name and provide a destination for the truck. I'm going to pick that destination from the screen. And this particular destination point defines a path. I can drag that point to different places and it'll automatically define different paths. And then I select finish. And it creates the player here on the screen. And I'm going to move him around a little bit. And it gives me the definition of the player and its commands in this window. We're going to come back to this window in just a moment. But before I do that, I'm going to create another player. And I'm going to pick a helicopter, an attack helicopter. I'm going to give that helicopter a name and select a waypoint. And then set finish. So now I have two players in my scenario. Next thing I'm going to do is execute the scenario. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here on this area. And it just hit play. So the scenario starts. The truck's driving on the road and the helicopter attacks it. Now this particular type of, of player, this unit, is composed to have not only the helicopter vehicle model but also a sensor model, a weapon system model, a, mi a missile model, and it also has a pilot model. And in the commands that were by default given to this particular player, the command list includes this command right here that says assess, which is instructing the pilot to go ahead and search for enemy targets and to automatically engage any targets that it finds. We're going to change that just to illustrate how to edit players in flames. So I'm going to reset the scenario. and I'm going to remove this assess command, the first thing I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and just run this scenario again just to show you that without that assess command, the pilot's simply going to fly to the first waypoint. It's the only command he has and uh, he's not going to engage the truck. So I'll reset. I'm going to add another waypoint by copying the waypoint that I have and then pasting it. And I'll drag it to uh, another location right here. And then after this first waypoint command, I'm going to add another command. And this is the list of commands that are available for this particular player. This list is different for every player type and it depends upon the particular uh, human behavior models that are attached to this particular player, to the player. And I'm going to pick the attack command. So instead of instructing the pilot to search for targets itself, I'm going to tell it to attack a specific target. And, it, and this particular command needs the name of the target and I'm going to pick that target from the screen. And I'm going to run it again. So the pilot will move to his first waypoint. As soon as he gets to the waypoint, then he attacks the target, and then he moves to the next waypoint, just as is directed here in the list of commands. This concludes the demonstration. And from this, you can see just how easy it is to create players in flames and to edit them and to execute scenarios.